Hello, hello beautiful Sagittarius and welcome into my channel, The Rare Gazelle. My name is Reem and welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Sagittarius or anyone who finds this reading. Um, no matter what sign you are, I trust that there is something in here for you. So Sagittarius, I did your scrying messages on October the 16th. I always take a picture of the scrying channeled messages posted on my youtube community page as well as on my instagram page um if you are interested in following me on there um i am also now open for personal readings um bookings for um my personal readings are on my website <laughs> in the description box below it's just so weird for me saying that now um i am booked out almost three months in advance uh, there is a three month waiting list right now um so i just encourage you you know if you want to do a reading just put in your inquiry and, and i will get to you when i can okay um so sagittarius your energy <laughs> was really interesting and i didn't know what to make of it at first i'm still not really sure what to make of it but we're just going to flow with the energy and trust what needs to come through so i got this energy of a gifted keeper and i started to feel like these are the gifts of the keeper there's some kind of gatekeeper here that is gifting you with something gifting you with some kind of wonderful energy and then I saw an arrow pointing up, okay? And to me, um, that in your space very specifically was signaling, yes, a direction, um, but it started to move my energy from my feet <laughs> all the way up through my crown chakra and then my chakras that are in my auric field. So I felt as if there was this beautiful uplifting force and I felt like you were going through an awakening. And this awakening that you're going through is awakening something else. Um, and I feel like it awakened this gatekeeper. And I felt like this gatekeeper hasn't been visited in a really long time. I started to get this visualization of someone sleeping and then all of a sudden waking up like, oh, you're here, hi, um, <laughs> thanks for visiting. Um, and I started to ask a lot of questions. So there's a lot of questions in your space, more so than answers, um, but that's where true knowledge and wisdom lies. And I started to question and wonder, is this gatekeeper you? Is it? an isolated self? Is it an aspect of yourself that has been isolated, that has been casted away? Um, and you stumbled upon this isolated self by accident, by your, I want to use the word like by your gracious awakening. There's something here about your awakening right now that feels really graceful. It doesn't feel so chaotic. It doesn't feel so wild. It feels very tamed in a good way. Like uh, let's use the word grace, not tamed. Because you know Sagittarius, no one can tame us. Um, <laughs> let's use the word grace, okay? Um, and then I started to hear holding it all in and i st i was feeling this energy for some time wondering is that the keeper holding it all in like holding something in for you like are you casting energies away with this isolated self and just kind of throwing it away like you're tossing away these energies thinking that you're tossing them away to the universe for transmutation and for healing, but they're just being tossed to the keeper to hold? I don't know. I don't know. And then I started to feel that this was someone connected to your romantic life. So the energy kind of like works in both ways. 
um, someone is holding it all in. And then I got the energy on the flip side, someone that doesn't hold it all in. And then I started to question, is this the same person or are these two different people? Because there is a complete 360 in your love life there is a full paradigm shift in love um so we're gonna see what's going on we're gonna flow with the cards we're gonna see what comes through with the channeled messages maybe we'll get more answers <laughs> i don't know um but the numbers i got for you are 223 431 25 118 and 211 okay take that however it resonates with you okay we're just gonna say thank you thank you to my ancestors known and unknown thank you to my great grandmother nyla thank you to my grandmother sophia and to my aunt who's now in heaven thank you to my guides thank you to the spirits of the most high for your guidance your love your protection and your messages and thank you to my fellow sagittarius for allowing me to read for you today and for trusting me with your energy your graceful energy. I mean, okay. So interesting. Look at the gatherer. I feel like there's some kind of energy here that's like holding your abundance. It's holding your abundance. Holding energies because the gatherer holding. I'm holding it all in for you. I feel like this is an aspect of yourself. You're the gatekeeper. The isolated gatekeeper. Okay, the giveaway at the bottom of the deck. See? You've been like casting energies away. You've been giving something away. This is number 23, which is 5. See the lightning? see the lightning bolts that are all like kind of gathered around the the heart space and the energy of the body the light body it's like activating lightning like kind of like shocks this energy to life right you have awakened you're going through this next phase of your awakening and it has awakened something else 30. it has awakened something else I feel like you have been unknowingly connecting to this aspect of yourself. Unknowingly. That's how I feel. You've been casting energies away, the giveaway. You've been giving them away. You've been giving away your fears. You've been giving away your worries. This is this is this is temperance energy. This is you. This is how powerful you are, okay? Let me show you. You've been casting energies away. I'm giving away my fears. I'm giving away my worries. I'm giving away my anxieties. I'm giving away my paranoia. I'm giving away any illnesses or diseases or infections or injuries in my body. I'm casting them away. I'm casting away old frames of thinking. I'm casting away old paradigms. I'm casting them all away. You're casting them all away and they're reaching this entity, this aspect this version of yourself that has been like isolated it's like in the shadows do you see that you're here in the light just shedding 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 and shedding tossing them all the, all away but they're reaching an aspect of yourself here in this dimension and what this aspect of yourself is doing is transmuting that's temperance that's alchemy on a metaphysical level your energy, your aspect of yourself, I can't help but smile because it feels so powerful, but yet so graceful. It's almost like this is just the natural order of things. The natural way that you grow, the natural way that you evolve, the natural way that you heal. This is just your natural gift. You've been giving it to yourself the entire time. This energy has been, this aspect of yourself here has been taking all of that in, holding it all in. Look at this energy. It's been held all in as you give away, give away, give away. And it's holding it all in. And what it's doing is it's, it's 
alchemizing something else. Let's get one more from this. It's changing it. It's transmuting it. You've awakened this aspect of yourself. I feel like this could be your light body, but it feels like something more than just like a light body. Um, it feels more. It feels, I don't know, maybe something I we don't understand yet. It just, it feels, it feels graceful. I, I don't know how else to like say it. Is there anything else from here? Oh my god, the sun. Oh, the blade. Wow. 53. That's 8. You hear the blade, which is number 6. Okay, hold on. Let, let, let blah, blah, blah. Okay, <laughs> Let's just let this sun channel in because um, that's, that's a life force. Okay, that's a life force. Remember here when I was talking about lightning, like shocking something to life, awakening something? That's the sun, okay? Awakening, illumination, enlightenment, but I'm also getting like celebration. I'm getting joy. I'm getting happiness. I'm getting everything that is emotionally felt. There's something that you're going to be enjoying, <laughs> Sagittarius. There's something that you're going to be giving, given. You're going to be giving something to yourself, <laughs> right? Because this is an aspect of yourself. I hope this makes sense. This is, um... Okay, hold on. Oh my god, look at this, a reconciliation. But see the wailing tree, you are reconciling with this aspect of yourself. It's interesting because it's like the same colors as the tree. Very similar colors. The tree looks like it's burning, but it's not. It's just the rays of the sun. It's just the rays of the sun. It's the power of like this like divine rage, this divine like cry, this like divine power. Have you ever like felt such power or you watch something on TV that where someone is like feeling really powerful and like you can't help but cry? Like that's the energy that I'm getting here. Like this is intense healing this is intensified this is illuminated light that's coming alive it's alive this aspect of yourself is not dead it's alive and it's being reconciled here with you okay um ah oh, oh, the heart home 27 compassion and then you have here the sacred contract number seven. Yeah, grace and generosity. See, it feels like grace. Let me grab one more from this and then we'll get into your tarot. Hello, Mama, are you okay? Why are you coughing? Oh, my little baby. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. That was like eight cards. Let's get one more. There is a bulk of energy here, though. It's like a knot. It's like a knot in someone's muscle. It's a bulk of energy that's, like, working its way out. There's a lot of energies that you're giving away. A lot of energies right now that you're shedding. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're emptying out right now. Time to replenish. But what I feel is you're empty. Empty well, right? Empty contract. Empty well, empty contract, giving away. You're just shedding. You're shedding to give life to something else. You're shedding to give life to something else. It's like you're breathing air into your into a new you. But I feel like it, it I feel like you're unknowingly doing this. Like there's something about this that I I feel like I mean some of you may know. I I don't know, but <laughs> I mean, because you're so powerful, but 
it feels like it feels like you you just like you pray like you pray you know please you know whoever is listening you just pray you give it all away i shed i give this away i release i do this i do that you're just giving it and tossing it all away you i, I just feel like you're thinking like the the universe you're just tossing away into the void of the universe for it to be transformed but a aspect of yourself here is catching it all holding it all in for you the sun is assisting in this transformation the sun is assisting in this alchemy in this change again because it's this life force energy and then you're going to reconcile you're going to reconcile with this energy it's it's you're giving life to this aspect of yourself and it's like returning wholeness heart home with the with the heart um it feels like wholeness it's it's a wholeness that's why there's this reconciliation here heart home this aspect of yourself that is coming alive that is taking all of the energies that you have shed transmuted it into a life force energy to give life is returning to your heart to reconcile with you to to come home it's to feel whole it's to feel whole this is a paradigm shift the blade this is a paradigm shift this is like cutting out a timeline cutting out cutting out energies cutting out vibrations cutting out frequencies it's a whole like it's a whole switch up it's a whole new matrix it's the divine matrix the galactic mushroom the sacred contract it's um wow the future is not yet set in stone it's not the future is not yet set in stone it's so empty but that's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing. Ace of Cups, it's not empty. Oh, I said the future is empty, but it's not. You think something is empty. Oh my God, look at the bottom. It's fortune's wheel, luck and right timing. 23. You have tier 23 twice. 23, 23. I just heard this is someone's lucky number, and I wrote down here 223. You have your 23. This could be February, February 23rd. Something about the 23rd. That could be some a, a, a significant date. What was I saying? Empty, right? The future is empty, but it's like, but it's, filled with possibilities because when something when something is empty where there is nothing there is everything fortune's wheel where there is nothing there is everything fortune's wheel this is like this is a new life the sun You're in a new divine matrix. You're somewhere else. You're completely somewhere else, Sagittarius. <laughs> like, uh, people come to watch my readings, and you know how many people I get, and they're just like, what are you talking about? But those who know, know. Those who know will understand. <laughs> you hear the Five of Pentacles, and then the Ace of Wands. Look, look look at that 
something new is growing this is new life but see here it's so unexpected like this is what i'm talking about i feel like some of you have no idea that you're activating and awakening to this degree like you have no idea remember how i said like something wilted away something died you thought something an aspect of yourself it's like just no longer there right but look something surprises you look at look at her face or his face okay not female or male gender specific but just looking at the imagery look at her face looking at the flower like oh <laughs> i thought i caged you away i thought i isolated you i thought i i thought i thought i didn't have this anymore i didn't think this existed in me i i didn't think i was capable of that i didn't think i could feel this way see you put something away and it died but it didn't you're turning the page, you're turning the page, you're turning the page. Shedding, 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 emptying out. And then all of a sudden you're surprised that this came alive. It came alive. This is alive. You're alive. This is wholeness. This is wholeness. wow you have here the five of wands look at the high priestess over there peeking i know we live in the veil <laughs> five of wands this is interesting you're gonna learn how to maneuver with this wholeness energy okay you're gonna learn you're gonna learn okay there's an aspect here of learning you have your eight of swords see more of this caged energy okay this energy of wholeness is going to open just like the heart home right open open the home okay you're opening your home for aspects of yourself to return look at this look at this there's there's two right here we're talking about this one right giving life you've awake you're awakening your levels of awakening and shedding and giving away has awakened something else it's awakening many things spirit is saying many aspects of self that have been locked away caged isolated or maybe just things about yourself that you have not known Things about yourself that you're learning and discovering here with the Five of Wands. Moving the pieces around. But I feel like this is interesting with the Five of Wands. I feel like you're learning. You're learning about all of the pieces. You're learning about all of the pieces on the chessboard. You've learned about this piece. You've learned about that piece. It's all coming alive. They're all coming alive. They're all returning home. This is wholeness. <laughs> Nine of Cups, yes. <laughs> oh my God. This is, this is fulfillment. I was going to say the gift of the keeper, okay? The gift of the keeper, right? Because you're the keeper, okay? You're the keeper. And that keeper energy was this aspect of self okay that was away okay you visited this aspect of self in that vision that i had and that visualization of this energy now the gifts this is now the gifts okay the gifts of wholeness okay that energy is very fulfilling okay nine of cups okay but there are like other gifts that are coming other gifts that are coming you could have also unlocked a sacred contract is something that i'm getting here you unlocked a sacred contract here i think that's why fortune's wheel is here 
you unlocked a sacred contract. Um, it's going to be different for all of you. The future is not yet set in stone. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Something is going to take form, materialize. Something is going to grow in this new energy, okay? These are tangible energies now. What is this? You unlocked a sacred contract. What is that? It feels like the future is not yet set in stone. It feels like you are possibly rewriting, writing, writing a new book, writing a new chapter. It feels like a brand new book, like a brand new, something brand new, something different. Yeah, something completely different. You look at more of this heart energy, the Knight of Cups. I know we talk a lot about like rewriting our story. We clear the karmic board, right? We clear the karmic board, but there's something here. I don't know. With you, it feels more. It feels like something that we haven't yet understood. Or maybe it is just that. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really sure. Yeah, Page of Wands. It's something new that you're discovering here. It's something new that you're discovering. Oh my god, Seven of Cups. You have your judgment at the bottom. Let me get a few more. And then we'll get into your love reading, okay? Wow, Five of Swords. King of Wands, yeah, this is your energy. I feel like, I don't know, I can't explain it. It feels like you are, you've activated a sacred contract, you're coming into something new, the future is not yet set in stone, you're writing it, you're cultivating it, you're discovering it, you're wishing upon it. There's something about you creating it's interesting because cancer had this visualization in their reading where there was also a wand and they were like drawing from the moon there's another like wand here but they were like drawing power from the moon of self right their moon energy the way they create the way they're they're manifesting and here you have like the pen this wand and this wand okay so there's some kind of power here power in your hands power in your writing even the blade kind of seems like a wand there but i feel like okay because like you cast energies away okay you have the power to cast energies in okay because you know how powerful you are shedding and releasing and casting energies away, now I feel like you have the understanding of or like the perspective of how to cast energies inwards, how to cast them in and how to materialize them and how to bring them into form. I feel like this is something that you're discovering here. You can do this in dream state and you can do this with your vibration, your fire energy, your inspiration, your passion, and your mind as well. There's a new way of thinking here. Remember, this is like a new paradigm shift. You've shifted from this self, which is like lack mentality, to this that has like fully come into wholeness and blossomed. So there's like a lot of things that have just like awakened your visions, your dreams, your passions, your inspiration and your mind. They've all like entered the space of this like sacred contract, this emptiness where there is everything. And it feels like these aspects of yourself that have been casted away are now being casted in 
to create. And that's what you're going to be seeing. These are the gifts of self. These are the gifts of the keeper. The ability to cast in energies. Because I feel like you've already mastered casting out, casting away, releasing, healing, shedding. Now, the gifts of the keeper is to cast in. What do you want to cast in? Because the future is not yet set in stone. It's waiting for you. It's waiting for you. Oh my God, Sagittarius. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful energy. This is beautiful. I hope that this helps. Okay, cast in the energies. Cast them in. Okay? Cast them in. Like... I don't know i feel like your mind has changed your thought patterns i feel like even like oh, i feel like you're gentler with yourself like i don't know i feel like if you're a writer like if you scry like me scry like scrying on paper um like your inspiration your passions are like even more evolved and just filled with so much life force Filled with so much life, okay? You're, you're casting in energies. That's, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to move forward to your love reading. But before I get into your love um, messages, I mean, there may be love messages that come out. I just want to go to the Tea Leaf Oracle deck just to get some other messages um, that need to come through for you. Okay, Sagittarius beautiful Sagittarius oh wow okay marriage hello hello <laughs> all right that's for that's for some of you out there marriage okay I mean spirit came through okay February wow okay you also have your February and March at the bottom okay so possibly some kind of unification here union maybe marriage in february engagement or this could be just commitment okay so let's see sorry these are oh. slowly but surely getting ahead you have here the tortoise it's funny because turtle has been coming up a lot not this one specifically but in other decks um okay i'm just gonna handle on these okay There we go. For Sagittarius. <laughs> oh, we know that. We know that. Opportunities are waiting for you. <laughs> the door. It's funny because I think that's how I ended your spiritual growth reading i said the future is waiting for you it's just waiting for you see the door opportunities are waiting for you okay whoa interesting interesting if your flowers happiness i mean yes um you did get the sun as well in your spiritual growth but then you have your flute and this is disappointment in a friend or a lover Okay, I'm going to get one more because remember, there is a paradigm shift here, right? That's occurring in your life. And I felt a paradigm shift in your love when I was doing your channeled messages. Um, I wrote here, oh, that, that page turned to Scorpio and Aquarius. Okay, you may be connected with a Scorpio and Aquarius. Um, but someone holding their feelings in and then someone who doesn't. This could be two different energies, so two people. Um, so you're like old to new, or this is the same person who has transformed, but there's a paradigm shift in your love life. Okay. So let's see what comes out and please take what resonates. Yeah, someone you know is undependable or insincere. Well, well, well.
Okay, these are fun. Okay, there we go. Okay, you have here stork at the bottom, news of a birth or business opportunity. Um, I feel like some friend of yours may give you some kind of advice pertaining to your work. I feel like this could be a work colleague, a work friend. Pay attention to your work. Does someone here that's helping you with your work or giving you some kind of advice or maybe training or something like that is something that I'm seeing. Um, some of you, there's some kind of celebration or party you have here, an exciting event, time to go out and have fun. There's going to be like lightheartedness, affection um love deep affection and caring and then you see there's a paradigm here someone is undependable and insincere there's some kind of disappointment but then you have your happiness marriage love deep affection and caring it's a paradigm two completely different like energies right here exactly what was channeled okay so i feel like this could either be the same person transformed or it's a new person coming in and the oldest going away okay because opportunities are waiting for you even in love okay you have your grasshopper situations and the balance balance that require careful handling okay something that needs careful handling okay i mean the heart the heart needs careful handling right careful with my heart right okay let's see sorry Someone said, I slap the cards on the table. I don't mean to. I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> I get yelled at by subscribers sometimes. Okay. All right. Okay. You have your family at the bottom. This is number 51. Okay. It's inter that's interesting. If you're letting go at the bottom of that number 35 okay so let's shuffle let's shuffle wolf spirit family is highlighted okay you have here the wizard of the woods focus 50 and 51 so there's some kind of progression someone is really focused on their family Someone really wants to start a family, okay, focus family, and then here, news of a birth or a new business opportunity, okay, and then you have here opportunity, opportunities are waiting for you, so someone here really wants to start a family, okay, and I'm, yes, 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 okay, like, I'm seeing that for you, babies and all of that, okay, marriage, anything else, okay, you have here wisdom, owl spirit number 27. Ooh, yeah. It's beautiful because you have here 2727 27 from your spiritual growth reading, the heart home, 27. Even like gorgeous colors that are very um, in, in sync with each other. Okay. So I feel like Sagittarius, um, let's get your let's get your tear out. out. Let, let this download before I I speak how I feel. <laughs> I just feel like you're really wise and you know what you want. Especially when it comes to your family, the dynamic of your family, how you want to raise your kids. Like you're so focused on that. I feel like that necessarily wasn't your focus before when you were dating. But I feel like now you have this wisdom and you have this understanding of what you want in a family dynamic in your household the partner that you want to have how you want to raise your kids like you have a voice in that you have thoughts about that where before when you were dating you nev never necessarily had those thoughts so i feel like that even shifted for you is what i'm getting here for for some of you sorry about that um three of pentacles okay so okay let me get the rest of the cards out. i feel a lot <laughs> Well, let's just get the cards to confirm what I'm feeling. Page of Swords. Knight of Wands. Ten of Wands. There's that letting go energy. Two of Swords. 
Nine of, there's that nine of cups. Okay. That was in your spiritual growth. Four Sagittarius. Eight of Wands. Oh my god, the sun again. <laughs> Let's stop right there. You have here the Six of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Five of Wands. Okay. You have here the moon and the sun. The sun and the moon. Okay, we also just had that solar eclipse, that new moon solar eclipse. You have here the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I feel a lot of things. I feel like some, again, like what these cards are saying, someone you know was independent and sincere and some kind of disappointment in a lover. Some kind of disappointment in someone here. Let me just feel this out because I feel like... I feel like... I feel like you may be letting go of someone here. Some of you may have already let someone go. Listen, if you don't want anyone from the past, don't. <laughs> like, then then don't take that message. Um, if that's what you're manifesting, then manifest it away. Do what you need to do. Um, will it come in for you if it's meant to, right? Um, I feel here that this is a full paradigm shift in love. Like I said, I for some of you, this is two different people. Like opposite people. Remember how I said someone was like holding something in, right? You have here the Page of Swords. I feel like someone was just writing, writing messages but not necessarily communicating them to you very well here with the eight of wands is what i feel because that eight of wands came in came in reverse that three of pentacles also came in reverse the two of swords came into in reverse but i read energy it doesn't matter if the card is upright or reverse it's energy someone here with the three of pentacles wasn't watering the flowers they weren't watering the seeds. They weren't watering the relationship. Um, and I feel like you watered it, but they didn't. And that led to disappointment. I felt like you guys were also off in communication. I feel like you were a lot more stable than the person was emotionally and maybe even financially um, and career-wise. Okay, I feel like you had more drive, more ambition than the other person. I feel like they were, I feel like they were a lot more, I feel like this person had a lot of ideas, this person had a lot of ideas with like what they wanted to do in their life, but never actually like took action to fortify it, to grow it, it was more like impulsive actions on their ideas but not really but not watering the ideas okay because it again it came up this way but energy is just energy so they weren't watering themselves it was just like they got an idea boom they ran with it but they didn't and that idea sat and then they went off to like the next idea because i'm seeing like the ten of wands is next it's just and the nine of wands I see that you are moving away from this connection. I see that you're climbing to new heights. You're trying to reach something else, something different um, that fulfills you. You're trying to reach something else, okay? So ultimately, you just cut this down. Remember, we had that letting go card, but I didn't take it. But we acknowledged that it was there. Right, because you have the wisdom and the focus on your family, right? And that's this, that's this Queen of Pentacles. It's all about the home. You're focused on your home. You're focused on your home, heart home, which is a home as well. 
okay? This is what you're focused on. Look at all these colors, okay? This is what you're focused on. That's your focus. That's your focus. This, this person that you were dealing with or maybe are dealing with, they don't have the same focus as you. There's something very different about the way you think, about the way you care, about the way you do things. This person is like not sustainable for the life that you want to have for your for yourself, okay? So I am seeing that you're making some kind of enlightened decision here, okay, with the two of swords and the hanged man some kind of enlightened decision because you are seeking something else that makes you happy you're looking to the moon you're looking within you're looking at your emotions you're looking up at the moon you're trying to find some kind of reflection that matches you here that makes you feel fulfilled and that's what you're getting you're getting happiness what is the sun card happiness you're getting happiness okay you are going to be in a relationship that matches your reflection okay that matches your reflection here with the wheel of fortune the six of swords and the five of fire you're just gonna let you're you're moving away okay you're letting the wheel turn you're moving away change is, in, is inevitable here with the wheel of fortune i feel like if you guys have been delaying ending this connection eventually you know like the wheel will will turn um if you're calling this person back in again like if they're meant for your for you for them to return okay they will return to you if, if that's meant to be um but i feel like again for like majority of you this is two different people you're moving away you're letting that wheel turn you're going you're over here going to experience the sun you're going there to experience happiness and joy and marriage and you're just going to let them do their thing here with the five of wands. You're going to let them self-sabotage. You're going to let them do their thing. It's like, it's like they're lighting the match, right? They're doing the same thing that they're doing in the relationship. And you're just like, sweetheart, the wheel turned. I'm all the way over here. Do you see the way that they're looking at you leaving? You're moving towards peace. You're moving because you're on a new paradigm. You're on the paradigm shift. They're not on that vibration. You have a different focus. That's the six of swords. Your focus is somewhere else. Your focus is somewhere else. That's what I'm seeing here. Let me pull a few more to see like new energies. I mean, the sun is gorgeous, but can we get something? Yeah, page of wands, page of cups. Yeah, new, 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 new energies. Page of cups, page of wands. New emotions, new feelings about somebody. This is like dating. This is feeling very... Hmm. This is feeling like, yeah, look, ten of swords. You, you're, you're done. It, that's a complete, that's a completion. And then the pages starting something new um i'm seeing like a date i'm seeing going out i'm seeing having fun remember time to go out an exciting event so there is something i see some kind of date here that makes you really happy yeah the world completion okay some of you may be feeling ending this connection with this person like you feel unsuccessful like there's something about like i failed in this relationship or maybe that person feels like they have they have failed relationships there's something about this world that feels like i have failed relationships okay but no it's not about failing or success it's not about success or failure it's about getting what makes you happy it's about getting what makes you happy okay yeah justice getting what makes you happy getting what you deserve getting what's fair learning those lessons okay completing the chapters this is a full paradigm shift in love here's the tower the paradigm shifter right there and then the fool at the bottom of that starting something brand new and there's a ten of swords again someone new okay the old is done anything else anything else 
the four of pentacles okay i'm seeing someone's finances finances okay it's definitely going to be improving i'm seeing someone who spends a lot of time um buying gifts for other people not saying that that's a bad thing or that's something that you need to be stop doing but i feel like there's some there's something about gift giving like that's someone's love language like you give gifts like is that acts of service or is that is, is gift giving an actual love language i don't know but there's something here about gift giving giving a lot of gifts okay um just be careful of that you know just make sure that you don't overspend i'm seeing that but I'm seeing that you're open. I'm seeing that someone here is that you're open. You're open to new. Okay. You're open to new. Two of Cups and Santa Muerte here with um that's yeah, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Four of Cups and then the Four of Wands. Yep, that's marriage. Yep, there's that Ace of Cups. There's um sorry, uh, Ace of Wands and the Lovers. So this is in your new, near future. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is in your near future, okay? Um, there's a Two of Cups and Santa Muerte. So I feel like you're approaching this energy, okay? I feel like you are, again, news of a birth or business opportunity. And you have your opportunities are waiting for you. Okay, so I do feel like this is something that you are approaching. Okay, this is what you're approaching so don't lose hope don't think that you're a failure just because relationships end i see that your focus is on your family and this family dynamic is really important to you okay and this is what you will receive this is what you're working up to okay i see that i see that for you um yeah okay Sagittarius, this is what I have for you. I love you guys so much. Until next time, thank you for tuning in.